Hey guys. Welcome to Watched Film Recaps. Today, I'm going to explain the second part of the episode 1 of a movie named Teen Wolf. The movie continues from the time Scott used the power of his eyes to calm the dog brought in by Allison. They both cater for the dog and start to pet it. Scott removes something from Allison's check which causes her to blush. The talk for a while and Allison decides to go back home. Scott stops her by her car and asks her to go out with him on a date. Allison agrees and Scott goes to bed with a smile on his face. He wakes up in a forest the following morning and he sees a creature in the fog. He runs and falls into a pool on his neighbor's compound. He goes to school and attends the lacrosse morning training. Stiles comes to tell Scott that, he overheard his father the sheriff, on the phone saying the killer of the girl they saw in the woods was by a wolf. Scott ignores this and goes to the field. He starts running with the ball and his wolf reflexes kicks in. He start to avoid all attacks from his opponents and used his acrobatics to score a goal. The team cheers for him and he goes to his locker. The team captain named Jackson, who was jealous all this while attacks Scott accusing him of using steroids. Scott denies this but Jackson tells him that he would find out what Scott uses. Stiles is seen researching about werewolves. Scott comes to him and Stiles tries to stop Scott from going to the party because he fears that when the full moon comes, Scott will change into a werewolf. Stiles tries to call Allison to cancel the date but Scott gets angry and slams Stiles to the wall. He focuses his anger on the chair beside him and apologizes to Stiles. Scott leaves and Stiles find wolf marks on the chair. Scott gets ready for the party and his mother gives him her car. He picks Allison up and they both go to the party. Scott sees Derek, the guy the saw in the woods, at the party. Derek vanishes from sight and Scott starts dancing with Allison. Scott starts to feel uneasy and leaves the party. Derek poses as Scott's friend and takes Allison home. Scott gets into the shower and he starts to transform. He starts to develop fangs and claws. Styles come to help Scott and Scott tells Styles that, Derek was the one that bit him. Styles also tells Scott that Derek was the one that drove Allison home. This information angered Scott and he jumps out of his window. He lands on the ground and we see that he has fully transformed into a werewolf. Styles goes to find Allison and meet her mom, Mrs. Argent. She calls Allison out and Styles knows that she is safe. Scott sees Allison's coat in the woods and shouts to Derek. Derek hits Scott and they fall rolling on the ground. Derek tells Scott to keep quiet and hide from the hunters. Scott and Derek run from the hunters but an arrow hits Scott's arm to the tree trapping him in the process. Derek takes out the hunters one by one and frees Scott from the arrow. Derek explains himself that he was trying to save Allison from Scott since it's the first time he was transforming. Scott walks on the road in the morning and Styles come to pick him up. Scott sees Allison in school and apologizes to her. She accepts his apology and goes to her father's car. Scott sees Allison's father and realizes that, her father was the hunter that tried to kill him when he changed. Hope you enjoyed the movie. This are some spoilers of the episode 2 I'm about to make. Do you want me to make the episode 2, like, comment, share and especially subscribe to this channel to let me know that you want the episode 2. And thank you.